Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you my top three ingredients I think you need in your skincare routine and in your life if you're serious about tackling the first signs of aging. Maybe you start to see those fine lines and wrinkles appear. Maybe there's some sun damage and discoloration to the skin. Maybe you feel like you've left it a bit too late to counteract some of the aging that's already accumulated. Do not fear, because I have some standout ingredients which if you include in your skincare routine can genuinely turn back the clock, revitalize our skin and give us that youthful appearance we all crave. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more, keep on watching. So before we start, let's talk anti-aging. It's a term that's a little bit like mature skin that we tend to use time and time again, but actually is a bit negative and I don't think it's probably the best way of looking at it. I'm not anti-people aging or skin aging. I look at how my skin was when I was 18 and how it is now. I would much, much rather have the skin I have now than what I did back then. So aging isn't always a bad thing. I also think a few lines and wrinkles are character building and actually give our face that you know that look of we don't want paralyzed we don't want the paralyzed celebrity look no one's about that we want to look like we've actually enjoyed life and lived in life so many times i hear people saying try not to smile and try not to show too much emotion because those are that'll create wrinkles and obviously that'll age the skin what a load of rubbish. Why would we not want to smile? Why would we not want to express ourselves? Load of old rubbish. I say embrace, you know, the changes that age brings, the good and the bad. Let's just embrace them. But there are a few ingredients that we can incorporate into our skincare routine to maybe just, you know, take around the edges, nibble away at the edges of some of that aging and keep our skin looking fantastic, snatched and gorgeous for as long as possible. I'm not going to include SPF in this list because I know, I know, it's a given. Whether you're looking at anti-aging or whether you're looking at, you know, tackling acne or whatever your skin complaint you should have an SPF in your skincare routine it's not specific to an anti-aging routine so I don't want to include it in this specific video there are so many amazing tried tested and verified SPFs out there definitely get one in your life I did a whole video on them which I'll leave a link to up there so if you haven't got an SPF in your routine now check out that video and find one of the best ones on the market there's a price point for everyone in that video and then we can talk about some other ingredients that aren't SPF that you want to include in your routine first up I'm going to say antioxidants. Now, a lot of people are expecting me to start with retinol, and don't worry, that's coming later, but I think antioxidants are like the unsung hero of skincare. People forget about them. We fixate on our SPF and on our retinols and all of these, you know, super technical and the bougie products in our lives, and antioxidants kind of get forgotten about, and I think it's such a shame. I've included antioxidants in my routine for probably the past five years, and the reason why I think they get forgotten about is you don't get that instant hit of um, success and results. You have to wait a long time to see the benefits of antioxidants because what they're doing is preventing the aging from happening. They're protecting our skin. What they do is they prevent oxidative stress from free radicals. So free radicals, which could be UV radiation, blue light, it could be particulate matter, pollution, all the things that the world throws at our skin. They act as like little Pac-Men. They eat up these baddies and they prevent them coming into contact with the skin and doing damage. Of course, the healthier the skin is, the more youthful it looks, it'll help even out our skin tone and just has so many multiple benefits. The reason a lot of people get turned off from antioxidants is because of the price point. A lot of people say they're so, so expensive and this just isn't the case. Yes, you can go for something bougie. My favorite is this. This is the Neod Survival. I love this product. It's got 15 different ways of protecting the skin. So it's like game changing in its antioxidant benefit, but also, it's not so expensive that it's prohibitive for most people. I think this comes in at like £28, which is up there in price, but also not total break the bank. But if you can't afford this or don't want to shell out on a Neod price product, then reach for a Q10 serum. Olay have one, but my favourite is absolutely has to go to the Inkey List with their Q10 serum. £4, $6.00 so affordable and yet your skin will love you in the long term for including it. The reason I say antioxidants are so important because if we can prevent the damage from happening then it's a whole lot less for us to worry about down the line. It's never too late to start you know a lot of people say oh, I've already got aging and sun damaged skin it's too late. It's not because it'll work in tandem with all your other products to protect the skin and maximize the benefit of the other products in your routine. Definitely, definitely reach for an antioxidant, whether it's the bougie luxury ones in your life or you want to go down and dirty drugstore. Either way, doesn't bother me as long as you have an antioxidant. We're now going to move on to peptides. Now, the reason I'm calling out peptides is, again, I think they're a little bit underappreciated. So we're going to come to retinol in a minute where the technology and the science behind it is like A+. It's been studied for decades. People know exactly how it works and the benefits that it brings. Peptide technology is a little bit newer, so there aren't as many scientific studies to back it up. 
Some people then question it and say, well, if there's not enough scientific studies, is it worth including? Well, there is that element, but for me, I think if I can see the results on my skin, that's kind of the proof enough for me. There are a couple of different peptides, the traditional peptides on the market. Some of them will hydrate the skin. Some of them will even out the skin tone. Some of them will boost collagen production in the skin. Collagen is what all our cells are made primarily of and gives us that elasticity and that snapback. If you feel like you're sagging around the jawline, maybe your skin has lost some of its plumpness and its firmness, that'll probably be because the levels of collagen in our skin over time dip like that. And so by including a peptide, you can actually reverse some of that and just halt that decline, prevent future aging. There are so many different ones out there. It can be getting a little bit difficult to know which one works for you, which is why I tend to say stick, stick to some of the buffet style. Those that mix multiple um, peptides all in one, so you know you're getting a really great mix. My go-to is this, which is the Hylomite Sub-Q Skin such a good product. It's a buffet mix, so it's got multiple peptides in here to target hydration, anti-aging, collagen boosting, but also help to even out and brighten the skin. All around amazing product. This one, I think, comes in at around the £15 price point here in the UK, so under $20. Not super affordable, but also not super expensive easy, mid-price. A little bit on the bougier side is the Neod Copper Amino Isolate. This is like for the hardcore anti-agers amongst us because the delivery technology in this takes the um, copper peptides which are going to produce that collagen directly to where they're needed to go to do the work. So if you are super serious about um, your anti-aging, this will be the product I'd reach for. So, so good. And you'll see results probably in about two weeks, which is really good for a topically applied product. If you're looking for a more affordable option, then the Sub-Q Skin is really good. Now, if neither of these two price points appeal to you, reach for the Collagen Booster Serum by the Inculist. The Inculist, so affordable. The Collagen Booster Serum, which doesn't have as many peptides in as those products, but still works really well to hydrate the skin and provide some additional collagen boosting peptides. The Collagen Booster Serum comes in at around the £6 price point. So again, under $10, super affordable. This, I just think a lot of people may be put off by peptides because of the price point, but there is a price point for everybody. There's an element of you get what you'll pay for with them. You know, the more you pay, generally, the better technology you'll get. But just include a peptide in your routine. And honestly, your skin will love you for it. It'll look more plump, more hydrated, and of course, it'll even out those fine lines and wrinkles. Now, my third recommendation for must-have ingredients has to be retinol. No video on anti-aging would be include would be fair without a retinol included. The reason retinol works so well for anti-aging is because it's not talking about delaying aging. You know, we've talked the peptides and the antioxidants, they're going to delay and prevent future aging. For those people who have already accumulated aging, and we start accumulating that in our 20s, so you know, you might not be showing the signs of it, but your skin knows about aging. And for those of you that have worried that maybe you've left it a bit too late, retinol will be your savior. So retinol, retinals, retinol palmitate, retinaldehyde, all the vitamin A derivatives work in a similar way, though they have different potencies. They work by um, triggering the skin to turn over the cells quicker. So your cellular turnover increases, which means that fresher skin comes to the surface. You look more youthful, your skin looks more glowy and fresher. Fantastic. It also triggers collagen to be produced. We talked about collagen earlier. The more collagen we have in our skin, the more elastic our skin looks and the plumper and the fuller our skin looks. All these things are absolutely fantastic. I love retinol. In fact, I did a whole video on how to introduce retinols into your routine and get the most out of them, which I'll leave a link to up there. It's worth checking that video out for the right retinol for you, but also to make sure you're using it correctly. Some of my go-to at the moment, I'm using this. This is different gel. Now, don't read me to fill for the fact I've cut the cap off to get the last little bit out of it. It's expensive. I paid for it. I want to get my most out of it. But this is so good. This is a dappling, which is great if you have acne, but also great for anti-aging. So this is the one I'm using at the moment. You guys know I love the Inculus Retinol, which is a mid-strength retinol, much more gentle, but works so good in the long term. And I've recently been trying this product. This is Striata, which is their night cream with encapsulated retinol. This is super gentle. I've been using it for about a week and it is so good on the days that I don't use my prescription strength retinol. It's much more gentle than many others on the market. So if you're worried about not being able to um, use a retinol, because this is encapsulated, it's a delayed release. So you don't get that hit the second you use it, which means it's much more applicable for people with sensitive skin that maybe are a bit scared to try retinol for the first time. This is a great, great option. I'll leave links to all of these products below in case you do want to check them out. Retinol is a must and people are scared because you do get redness, irritation and peeling when 
moment you first introduce it. That's just its mechanism of action, getting to work on the skin. You can minimize all of this by um, following a few simple rules, which I linked in the video earlier. So check that video out with some hints, tips, and hacks for how to avoid it. And by choosing the right one for your skin type, for whatever your skin type, there is one out there for you and make sure you include it in your skincare routine. If you mix these three products together and then slap on an SPF to end, your skin will be protected to the gods, it'll glow to the gods, and you will notice over a period of about two months a noticeable improvement in the youth and the vitality of the skin. These things are all great. You're not going to be able to deliver that Botox paralyzed face look. I don't think we want that. That's very 90s. That was very much the 90s look. No one wants it anymore. We want to age with grace and dignity. Which, well, forget the dignity. I'm not too bothered about that. Just grace. You want the skin to look its best for the age that you are. You don't want to look, you know, 18 when you're 40. Ain't going to happen. But including these products in my routine has shown a real improvement in the plumpness of my skin, the um, elasticity of my skin. And I've noticed those crow's feet that I was starting to see around the eye have really diminished. So honestly, include these three holy grail ingredients in your routine and you'll see such a benefit in terms of the um, age of your skin. Now, wherever you are in the world, guys, I hope you're staying safe and well. Love your skin, whatever age you happen to be. Let's love the skin that we're in. And leave me a comment with any other holy grail items that you have. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.